a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Shrove Tuesday Shrove Tuesday is the day in February or March immediately preceding Ash Wednesday, which is celebrated in some countries by consuming pancakes, in others, especially those where it is called Mardi Gras or some translation thereof. This is a carnival day, and also the last day of fat eating, or gorging, before the fasting period of Lent. This movable feast is determined by Easter. The expression, Shrove Tuesday, comes from the word shrive, meaning, absolve. Shrove Tuesday is observed by many Christians, including Anglicans, Lutherans, Methodists, and Roman Catholics, who make a special point of self-examination, of considering what wrongs they need to repent, and what amendments of life, or areas of spiritual growth they especially need to ask God's help in dealing with. Being the last day of the liturgical season historically known as Shrove died, before the penitential season of Lent, related popular practices, such as indulging in food that want sacrifices for the upcoming 40 days, are associated with Shrove Tuesday celebrations, before commencing the fasting and religious obligations associated with Lent. The term Mardi Gras is French for, Fat Tuesday, referring, to the practice of the last night of eating richer, fatty foods before the ritual fasting of the Lenten season, which begins on Ash Wednesday. History the tradition of marking the start of Lent has been documented for centuries. Elfric of Einsham's Ecclesiastical Institutes From around 1000 AD states, in the week immediately before Lent everyone shall go to his confessor and confess his deeds, and the confessor shall so shrive him as he then may hear by his deeds what he is to do, in the way of penance. By the time of the late Middle Ages, the celebration of Shrovetide lasted until the start of Lent. Pancakes are commonly eaten on this day, since foods such as butter, eggs and fat are discouraged from being eaten during the Lenten season. Christians use these ingredients during Shrovetide to make pancakes or other rich foods, such as fanots and pachiskis. The specific custom of Christians eating pancakes on Shrove Tuesday dates to the 16th century, along with its emphasis on feasting. Another theme of Shrove Tuesday involves Christians repenting of their sins in preparation to begin the season of Lent in the Christian calendar. In many Christian parish churches, both Protestant and Roman Catholic, a popular Shrove Tuesday tradition is the ringing of the church bells, to call the faithful to confession before the solemn season of Lent, and for people to begin frying their pancakes. Terminology the word shrove is a form of the English word shrive, which means to obtain absolution for one's sins by way of confession and doing penance. Thus Shrove Tuesday gets its name from the custom for Christians to be shriven before the start of Lent. In the United Kingdom, Ireland, and parts of the Commonwealth, Shrove Tuesday is also known as Pancake Day, as it is a common custom to eat pancakes as a meal. Elsewhere, the day has also been called Fat Tuesday, or Mardi Gras. In Germany, the day is known as Fast Notstienstag, Faschingsdienstag, Karnevalsdienstag or Veilkindienstag, and celebrated with fancy dress and partial school holiday. Similarly, in German American areas such as Pennsylvania Dutch country, it is known as Fastnake Day. In the Netherlands, it is known as Vastenavond, or in Limburgish dialect, Vastlaavond, though the word Vastlaavond usually refers to the entire period of carnival in the Netherlands. In some parts of Switzerland, the day is called Gudestienstag, preceded by Gudismontag. According to the Duden Dictionary, the term derives from Gudal, which means a fat stomach full of food Gudeldienstag. In Portuguese, Spanish and Italian-speaking countries, among others, it is known as Carnival. This derives from medieval Latin carnalevman and thus to another aspect of the Lenten fast. It is often celebrated with street processions or fancy dress. The most famous of these events is the Brazilian carnival in Rio de Janeiro, while the Venetians celebrate carnival with a masquerade. The use of the term carnival in other contexts derives from here. In Spain, the carnival Tuesday is named Dia de la Tortilla, an omelette made with some sausage or pork fat is eaten. On the Portuguese island of Madeira, they eat Malasadas on Terça Feira Gorda which is also the last day of the Carnival of Madeira. Malasadas were cooked in order to use up all the lard and sugar in the house, in preparation for Lent. 
This tradition was taken to Hawaii, where Shrove Tuesday is known as Malasada Day, which dates back to the days of the sugar plantations of the 1800s. The resident Catholic Portuguese workers used upper butter and sugar prior to Lent by making large batches of malasadas. In Denmark and Norway, the day is known as Fast Laven and is marked by eating Fast Laven's Buller. Fast Laven is the name for carnival in Denmark which is either the Sunday or Monday before Ash Wednesday. Fast Laven developed from the Roman Catholic tradition of celebrating in the days before Lent. But after Denmark became a Protestant nation, the holiday became less specifically religious. This holiday occurs seven weeks before Easter Sunday, with children dressing up in costumes and gathering treats for the Fast Laven feast. The holiday is generally considered to be a time for children's fun and family games. In Iceland, the day is known as Sprengedagur and is marked by eating salted meat and peas. In Lithuania, the day is called Osgavins. People eat pancakes and Lithuanian star donuts. In Sweden, the day is called Fetisdagen, and is generally celebrated by eating a type of pastry called Fastlagsbull or Semler. In Finland, the day is called Laskienen, and is generally celebrated by eating green pea soup and a pastry called Laskia Aspula. The celebration often includes downhill sledging. In Estonia, the day is called Vastlaparef and is generally celebrated by eating pea soup and whipped cream or whipped cream and jam-filled sweet buns called Vastlaikukkel, similar to the Swedish Vastlagsbull or Semler. Children also typically go sledding on this day. In Poland, a related celebration falls on the Thursday before Ash Wednesday and is called, in some areas of the United States, with large Polish communities such as Chicago, Buffalo, and Michigan. Tlusty's Wartik is celebrated with or eating contests, music, and other Polish food. It may be held on Shrove Tuesday or in the days immediately preceding it. In Slovenia, Kur in Tuvenje is also the biggest and best-known carnival. There are several more local carnivals usually referred to as Lofarija. In Hungary, and the Hungarian-speaking territories, it is called and is celebrated by fancy dress and visiting neighbors. Traditions Pancakes are associated with the day preceding Lent, because they are a way to use up rich foods such as eggs, milk, and sugar, before the fasting season of the 40 days of Lent. The liturgical fasting emphasizes eating simpler food, and refraining from food that would give undue pleasure. In many cultures, this means no meat dairy products, or eggs. In Newfoundland, and Cape Breton Island small tokens are frequently cooked in the pancakes. Children take delight in discovering the objects, which are intended to be divinatory. For example, the person who receives a coin will be wealthy. A nail indicates that they will become or marry a carpenter. Festivities In the United Kingdom, as part of community celebration, many towns held traditional Shrove Tuesday, mob football, games, some dating as far back as the 17th century. The practice mostly died out in the 19th century after the passing of the Highway Act 1835 which banned playing football on public highways. A number of towns have maintained the tradition, including Annick in Northumberland, Ashbourne in Derbyshire, Atherston in Warwickshire, St. Colum Major in Cornwall, and Sedgefield in County Durham. Shrove Tuesday was once known as a half holiday in Britain. It started at 11 a.m. with the ringing of a church bell. On Pancake Day, pancake races are held in villages and towns across the United Kingdom. The tradition is said to have originated in 1445 when a housewife from Olney, Buckinghamshire, was so busy making pancakes that she forgot the time until she heard the church bells ringing for the service. She raced out of the house to church while still carrying her frying pan and pancake, tossing it to prevent it from burning. The pancake race remains a relatively common festive tradition in the UK, especially England. Participants with frying pans race through the streets tossing pancakes into the air and catching them in the pan while running. The pancake race at Olney traditionally has women contestants who carry a frying pan and race over a 415-yard course to the finishing line. The rules are strict, contestants must toss the pancake at the start and the finish, and wear a scarf and apron. Since 1950 the people of Liberal and Olney, both in Kansas, U.S., have held the International Pancake Day race between the two towns. The two towns' competitors race along an agreed-upon measured course. 
The times of the two towns' competitors are compared to determine a winner overall. After the 2009 race, Liberal was leading with 34 wins to Olney's 25. A similar race is held in North Summercoats in Lincolnshire, England. Scarborough celebrates by closing the four short to all traffic, closing schools early, and inviting all to skip. Traditionally, long ropes were used from the nearby harbour. The town crier rang the pancake bell, situated on the corner of Westborough and Huntress Row. Since 1996 a replica, Pancake Bell, situated at Newborough and North Street has been rung, to initiate the day's festivities. The children of the hamlet of Whitechapel, Lancashire keep alive a local tradition by visiting local households, and asking, please a pancake, to be rewarded with oranges or sweets. It is thought the tradition arose when farm workers visited the wealthier farm, and manor owners to ask for pancakes or pancake fillings. In Scandinavia, in particular in Finland and Sweden, the day is associated with the almond paste filled similar pastry. Thin pancakes called blini are traditional in Christian festivals in Belarus, Ukraine and Russia also, at this time of year. In London, the rehab parliamentary pancake race takes place every Shrove Tuesday, with teams from the British Lower House, the Upper House, and the Fourth Estate, contending for the title of parliamentary pancake race champions. The fun relay race is to raise awareness of rehab, which provides a range of health and social care, training, education, and employment services in the UK, for disabled people and others who are marginalised. Dates Shrove Tuesday is exactly 47 days before Easter Sunday, a movable feast based on the cycles of the moon. The date can be any between 3 February and the 9th of March inclusive. Shrove Tuesday occurs on these dates. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?